hey beautiful people welcome welcome back again to the channel it's there okay, and i am your captain so if you've been here for a while you know that i've been a little bit sick for the past few weeks now and i really feel it's time to see the doctor <laughs> i know in my previous video i said i'll only see the doctor when i'm dying that nurses in general will only see doctors whenever they are dying not like normal sickness but yeah i think it's just not right with my system and i just need a overall check um symptoms i'm having currently i'm just coughing productive cough for like almost four weeks if i'm not exaggerating and i've just been feeling tired weak and i'm not just myself like sometimes I, I feel like very fainty i can't start for a long time so yeah it's time to see a doctor i actually registered with a gp when i came in here and i got a gp very quickly fairly quickly like you can register how i did my registration was i just searched around my suburb and, and i was just calling them to see which of them book bill and which of them do not book bill so yeah in australia it's not like the nhs where once you just register with your gp that's it you go in for free if your gp book bill you wouldn't pay anything at point of access but if your gp does not you will have to pay a certain fee i think this is like 60 or 50 dollar per visit but you can reclaim the money back but my gp the one i got i made sure i got the one that does bulk bill so i don't have to pay fingers crossed it's amazing so i called and i spoke with the secretary and she registered me and she asked me if i wanted to see the doctor then but i didn't have any need so i did not book any session with the gp so this is officially my first time so yesterday i was just feeling too sick and i was like i'm gonna call the gp and book an appointment and luckily for me when i called them yesterday they had a slot today and they were like okay can you come in today nine o'clock so this is currently 8 30 and i am going to go and see a gp today so i thought i would vlog about this experience because i've had someone ask me what's my experience like with the uk healthcare system and um australia healthcare system so this is my first time so hopefully my first impression is good i'll talk about the uk one because i've actually experienced it to be honest i didn't have any issue with assessing my gp i know a lot of people complain that their gps take them months years to see but mine to be honest i'll be honest here i've never had any delay whenever i call to book an appointment sometimes it's me that's not available because of my work schedule so i never had any issue getting a gp appointment but i would like to see that the one here in australia is quite quick in australia here i haven't spoken to any medical personnel i just spoke to the secretary and they booked me straight up in the uk to be honest you will have to speak with the nurse sometimes first you have to tell them your symptoms you have to make all the complaints and they'll tell you if you would come in the, or not that's my gp experience except of course it's routine tests they will send you emails or they'll send you letters to come in for appointment but if you want to see a gp you have to convince them that you really need to see a gp but here once i called her I only said I need to see a GP and she's okay, we have a slot tomorrow. That's it. She didn't ask me what are your symptoms. She didn't say, okay, I'll transfer you to the nurse or the nurse will call you. Like, so that's one good thing I've noticed here in Australia. Bear in mind that this is just my experience and with my GP practice. It might be different in other places, so please don't quote me. I'm only saying what I have actually experienced, okay? So I'm going to be going in to my appointment with my Medicare card. This is my Medicare card. I'm trying to cover the numbers. This is my Medicare card um forgive my nails i just came back and i haven't done it so sorry for that my medicare card i don't know if i need to go with this but i just feel like if they gave you it's like a passport so i'll go with it and i'll ask if i need to be going into the clinic with it all the time because if i don't need to there's no point because they already have my number and all so my gp practice is like 20 minutes walk from where i am so i'll be walking i still have a bit of time to get there so yeah let's go <laughs> Three more minutes and I'm there. I'm walking so fast. <laughs> right, I'm here. Yeah, it's fine. 
<laughs> I know it's fine. It's very difficult to pronounce it. I've been feeling really, really unwell for the past, I don't know if I would say like even up to four weeks. Um, but majorly what I'm having is like a cough, sometimes productive, sometimes not. And just feeling of weakness, like very tired. Sometimes when I stand up, I'm like, I want to fall. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like this lightheadedness, like I just my head just feels like you need to sit down. No medications, I'm on no medical conditioner. Do you have like a history of anemia or iron deficiency? It seems everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Everyone is coming here. It's like the next best thing. It's a good thing here. Yes, it's not America, but patients can afford to see you even if you charge a gap. It's not. It's not much, I think, in America, yeah, maybe the doctors may go up, but at the same time, you know, most people can't afford to see a doctor, so that's a very good thing. This is, I think, medicine used to be a bit better, but even at its current cost, it's probably quite better than most of the other ones. Yeah, it definitely is better. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I see online a lot of people who do, like, five days. Oh, yeah, you, you, to be honest, you can't really survive with just your NHS salary. Even after a doctor, it's, it's just a shame. You can't really survive with that alone. Like how bad is it? Like, you know, in NHS, as a nurse, how much was your hourly? <laughs> I can't even tell you. It's so shameful. <laughs> so, like, hourly would be like 14 pounds. That would be like $28. Yeah. <laughs> how do you live on that? That's crazy. Definitely, man. Yeah. That's why most people, you, you, either you do extra shifts or you find something else to do or you just leave. No, and that's before tax, so you see, <laughs> so you can imagine. And the tax system in UK is, is even worse than here. Yeah. yeah, at least here we do get salary sacrificing, mm -hmm. and you're able to save up a little from that. But generally, it's definitely worse. Yeah. So there was absolutely no cost structure on mm -hmm. examinations in the department. Yeah. Is there anything else you want me to go over today for you? No, that's fine. Thank you. Now I'm gonna get the blood stuff. Ah, right. So, now you're gonna So maybe the easiest place would be the unconscious um, mode. So I'm not gonna get it done here. We don't have a blood test collection here. Because it's so small. It's so small, so they don't have a blood test collection here. But really, the unconscious mode is like 600 meters that way. Mm -hmm. They have a DHM. But have you eaten today? Yes, I've eaten. It's a fasting, right? <laughs> okay. Right? Um, so it's a fasting blood work. So probably do it on the table. So, you know that. Right? Yeah. You know, no breakfast, just water, just done. Yes, frustrating, right? Cause... So that means I have to pay for this. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because I'm, I'm not really used to the healthcare system here. Uh, yeah. I have Medicare card, but yeah. I, I think if your GP does not bulk bill, you have to pay. Yeah, I can't that. We don't, we mainly bark for everyone. So. Yeah. That's why I drink yeah. here as well. <laughs> 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 the only bark for GP in this area. Really? Yeah. Oh, because yeah, because the day I the day I looked for a GP, a lot of places when I called, they all do not bulk bills. So I was like, keep calling, keep calling till I found there. Yeah. And the easiest way to book now is using the hot dog. I'm gonna download it now. Yeah. That's, that's really easy. Um, so yeah, you can do that. Thank you so much. So the app that my doctor recommended is called the Hot Doc. So this is an app where you can easily search for a GP practice around you and you can register for their services. I use it to book an appointment and it was seamless. Okay, seamless. So I have just finished seeing my GP. He's so nice. <laughs> But the thing is, 
It is so noisy. Let's talk when I get home. <laughs> video a bit useful so fun fact if your gp does bulk bill you would not have to pay at point of access when you get your care and also for my gp practice because it's quite small i had to look for somewhere else to get my labs done because they were not doing labs so here on the next day because it's a fasting blood um test they needed so i had to go get it done and it was also free because my gp book billed me so yeah that's one tip for you when you're looking for a gp here in australia make sure your gp does book bill otherwise they're going to charge you for here you can see the price on the list if you are not in a bulk billing gp surgery this is how much you're going to be paying okay if you have a medicare card or not okay thank you so much for watching let me know what you think about my experience